Well, Talo for John, thanks for welcoming yeah. my son to your house. Um, we're doing this uh, this show about um, men and reading, and uh, you know, I was looking over your history, and I assume you've read a lot. Yeah, look, mum, mum was a very well-read um, Irish um, Scotch Catholic lady out of a reasonable, the um, well-off background, farming background. When she married dad, she was uh, sort of like uh, ostracised, and so wouldn't know her family. But what we got out of her family was um, an Irish penchant for literature. But it was just a tough existence um, in, in uh, West Auckland in those days. Uh, and it, books provided escapism yeah, from it. Yeah, books uh, gave us, um, you know, this moment in time to dive into somebody else's uh, reality. Yeah, and I believe you had one teacher that was really influential, Tom Wheel. Well, look, Tom Wheel uh, was unusual. He went to the novitiate um, in Melbourne to um, give himself to the church as a cleric, and he failed. And so he came back to New Zealand and became a lay teacher at a Catholic school, St Peter's. And what he uh, awoken in all us boys at that school was um, a thirst and a penchant for um, international relations and international politics. And so what Tom Wheel was teaching, or was, was that reflected in what you chose to read? Yeah, look, he, he actually got the sack uh, from St. Peter's and I defended him as uh, my, one of my first cases as a new lawyer. Um, over um, um, introducing things like uh, from Mills on one side of the economic equation all the way to through to Marx, and um, on the campus at that time, there was a reactionary group running uh, the school who determined that um, one side of the equation was good to learn, but the other side of the equation wasn't. Uh, and um, we needed, uh, I, I accepted that we needed balance. So, you know, he was able to open a lot of our eyes to a lot of things that in the normal course of events you wouldn't get out of standard school. Mm. Mm. And what do you read now, fiction or non-fiction? My world, as I've matured, has become... Uh, as my kids would say, more square um, in regard to what I r read because it's more clinical or more policy driven, uh, economically driven um, and politically driven as opposed to uh, where I used to get my great solace was, you know, <clears throat> anything to do with Jacques Cousteau in the day um, and so on and so on, anything that I could read about him. Yeah, so what was it about Cousteau that resonated with you? Well, um, going in uh, and opening up a, a world we knew more about the moon than we did under their own oceans and mm. seas. And he enlivened the world, actually, um, about the, the power and the, the uh, magic of what lay under the, uh, our waters. So he, and he also risked himself to bring those vistas back into uh, our world. So he was one of my great champions in, um, when I was um, growing up. 